as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَقُلْ جَاءَ الْحَقُّ وَزَهَقَ الْبَاطِلِ Say and say that the truth has come and falsehood has perished. إِنَّ الْبَاطِلَ كَانَ زَهُوقًا Listen, indeed, falsehood will always perish. Falsehood must perish. That is the nature of falsehood. It cannot survive. And truth always wins. And so we have to know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in charge. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in charge. Always look through the illusion of the physical world beyond. Always see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Never ever get deceived by the physical world. I want to remind you of one of my favorite stories in the Quran. And that's the story of Musa alayhi salam when he was in front of the Red Sea. Because he got to a point where he looked trapped. He couldn't see a way out. That was it. فَلَمَّا فَرَاءَ الْجَمْعَانِ قَالَ أَصْحَابُ مُوسَىٰ إِنَّ لَمُدْرَكُونَ So Allah describes this scene, right? Pharaoh and his army are approaching. And Musa alayhi salam and Bani Israel are in front of the Red Sea now. So they're, they, they're trapped. And when they see each other, so when the people of Musa alayhi salam see the army of Pharaoh, Pharaoh with his army, the people of Musa alayhi salam start to panic. And they say, Inna lamudrakun. Indeed, we're going to be overtaken now. You know this feeling of panic that we sometimes feel? You know when certain people were elected, et cetera, et cetera. You know, we feel this like, oh, that's it for us now. You know, it's going to happen again. And we sometimes feel like that's it for us. You know, we're going to be overtaken. We, when we see what's happening in Palestine, sometimes there's a part in, of us that says, we're going to be overtaken. They're going to be overtaken. And we start to panic and despair. And the people of Musa alayhi salam started to do that. Inna la mudrakun. We're going to be overtaken now. Qala kalla. Musa alayhi salam said, Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Why? And I want you to listen carefully because this is what will get us through our entire life and every storm. Inna ma'ya rabbi sayahni. Indeed, my Lord is with me. And he will get me through this. You understand? And that is what the Palestinian people have. Inna ma'ya rabbi. They know it. They know it down to the children know it. Have you heard the way the children speak? They know it. They all know it. This is not a normal generation of people. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Musa السلام, to strike the sea with his staff. And this is also symbolic because it also shows that there was an action that needed to be taken. And we're trying our best to take that action for our brothers and sisters. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened the sea. And Allah saved Musa السلام, and Bani Israel and destroyed Pharaoh and his army. Well, what do we learn from this? We learn from this that Musa alayhi salam, why was Musa alayhi salam responding in the way he did? He sees the same Red Sea and the same army. Like in the physical reality, he is witnessing the same exact thing. But he's looking through it and seeing Allah. Understand? He's looking through it and seeing Allah. We have to look through the barriers and the illusions and the pain and see Allah. And then we don't despair. 